What's going on guys, Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip. And today is going to be Friday the 6th of December, we have confirmers to go through as well as the rumours. So just before we get started, if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. My previous video will be down below in the description box and current schedule every day at 8am UK time will be a new transfer episode. And finally in the comment section below, what has been your favourite game to watch so far this season? Right, so the first bit of confirmed news today is a Barcelona youngster, a very promising one at that, signing a new contract. The player in particular is going to be Ansu Fati, who's had a breakout season so far, and he signed a new contract with the Spanish champions until 2022. The 17 year old release clause now stands at 170 million euros from 100 million, and it will go up to 400 mil when he signs his first professional deal at the age of 18. Now, it doesn't mean that Barca value him at either 170 mil or 400 million. It just means that if a team is interested in signing that particular player, Barcelona, they, they've got the most control over the situation. And next up, Nice Matin are reporting that OGC Nice manager Patrick Vieira he is the Arsenal board's priority to take over at the Premier League side following Unai Emery's departure last week. Things aren't really going too well for him right now at Nice, so it could be a bit of a risk taken by Arsenal, but he has had a few years as a manager now, previously at New York City FC as well. Um, other names being linked to Arsenal, they've got, they've got so many like Brendan Rodgers, Ancelotti, uh, even Diego Simeone now. German side Schalke is set to sign Swiss fullback Ricardo Rodriguez from AC Milan in January. It's according to Sport Media set. The 27 year old has not featured for the Rossoneri since September, with summer signing Theo Hernandez preferred at left back by the head coach. He wants to go and get first team football elsewhere, and potentially at Schalke, that could be the possibility. At NTV, our Saint Besiktas have identified Brescia striker Mario Balotelli as a transfer target. The Italian striker's current employers are happy to sanction his departure for nothing in January, with the Turkish outfit eager to swoop in and secure his services. A very short and brief one from AS is the LA Galaxy and new MLS franchise Inter Miami that are both interested in signing River Plate midfielder Ignacio Fernandez. A player that featured in yesterday's episode linking him to a Bundesliga move to either Borussia Dortmund or Borussia Mönchengladbach is Liverpool youngster Rian Brewster. And according to Paul Joyce and the Times today, both Leeds and Swansea are considering loan offers for the Liverpool youngster. Liverpool are willing to let him go out on loan on a temporary basis to get first team football and carry on developing, as uh, right now at Liverpool it's very hard to break into the front three. And um, given the fact he has still got a future at Liverpool, Klopp rates him very highly and uh, Leeds could be an option as a Swansea City. And next up, an interesting one from Marker is that Everton are interested in Atletico Madrid manager Diego Simeone as, as a potential replacement for, uh, right now it's midday on um, Thursday for me, Marco Silva hasn't been sacked just yet, but by the end of the day and the start of Friday, he could well be gone. But the article does say they see the Argentine as a potential replacement for Silva, and to be fair, Simeone is under pressure himself at Atletico Madrid. They're not having a great start to the season, and Mark do suggest a divorce is on the horizon. Teams from England, Germany, and France will all be on alert in January as Barcelona are preparing to offload Todibo. Muno Deportivo report the Spanish Giants are hoping to let the 19 year old go out on a temporary deal, but they are prepared to sell him outright if necessary. West Ham are leading Wolves in the battle to sign Frank Kessier from AC Milan in January, and this story comes from Milan Live. The 22-year-old has struggled for playing time at the San Siro this season, and the club are determined to offload him in the next transfer window. While West Ham are at the front of the queue, Wolves are also interested, but any potential deal could cost upwards of 30 million euros or 25 million pounds. Borussia Dortmund are the latest club interested in assigning 19 year old Red Bull Salzburg forward Haaland. That's according to Build. Bundesliga clubs Bayern Munich and Leipzig are also showing interest in the Norway international as of Manchester United and Barcelona. According to the report, however, Haaland is available for 30 million euros, whilst the rumours saying that Leipzig have got a first refusal on him for around 30 million euros, that is not true. Chelsea have made Leicester left-back Ben Chilwell a prime transfer target according to The Athletic. 
The Blues hope to hear whether their two window transfer ban will be reduced to one in the coming days and that might even be like known by either today or the weekend and if it is true they'll be able to press ahead with their attempts to sign the England international. Uh, Leicester apparently very much adamant he won't be leaving but if he does go it will be I imagine a very similar fee to what they got from Maguire or just short of that. A player that featured in Yes's episode is Drews Mertens and according to the Daily Mail, Inter are ready to launch a bid for the Napoli forward. Mertens will become a free agent at the end of his current contract next summer but Napoli, they might be prepared to sanction his departure in January if they can get a small kind of fee for him. Um, again though, it would be strengthening a rival so realistically it doesn't make too much sense. Um, but they might not have too much control over this situation because if he goes on the free, they get nothing for him and he still goes to Inter anyway. Tottenham boss Jose Mourinho is eager to sign Barcelona centre-back Samuel Umtiti according to Don Ballon. The Portuguese manager wants to strengthen his defensive ranks in January with a 26-year-old top of his transfer targets. Umtiti, who has only featured four times in La Liga for Barcelona this season, is currently valued at around 60 million euros or 51 million pounds. During the summer window, Umtiti was linked to Spurs rivals Arsenal but nothing really materialised and instead they pursued other options. Sport are saying that Arsenal are willing to include Hector Bellerin in a bid to prize Demiral away from Juventus. The Gunners are looking to edge in front of Manchester United when it comes to landing the highly rated defender and they are prepared to part with the Spanish fullback in order to sweeten the deal. I'm not sure how much truth that rumour has because the reports are saying Demiral will cost around 30 million euros and my guess is that Hector Bellerin would cost a lot more than that himself. Atletico Madrid have made contact with Edinson Cavani's agent over a potential switch from Paris Saint-Germain. The Uruguayan striker's contract expires at the end of the season and AS report that Spanish side want to land him on a free deal. And it might be a similar situation to Mertens and Inter Milan because PSG probably won't want to lose one of three and Atletico, they don't really want to pay a massive fee either. But if they can get a January transfer done and it could, to be fair, Cavani, he deserves to get first team football because right now at PSG, it's very, very limited. I think it potentially could happen earlier rather than waiting until the summer. But he's also been to a move to Flamengo in Brazil and into Miami in the MLS. Chelsea are ready to break their transfer record in their pursuit of Borussia Dortmund one-to-way forward Jadon Sancho and they're confident about their chance of landing him ahead of Manchester United either in January or next summer. Uh, but Sport Bill do say that the forward has no intention of leaving Borussia Dortmund in January, that's despite the reporter saying he might. And the Sancho saga will go on for some time because he's a very in-demand player which has obviously got bags and bags of world-class potential. Um, but it will also cost a lot of money. There are rumours saying is their relationship with Borussia Dortmund is starting to break down and he could look for a move sooner rather than later, but if you believe Sport Build, that won't be happening just yet. Real Madrid are planning on including Vinicius Jr. in any bid they make for Kylian Mbappe, according to AS. The Liga Giants have made the Paris Saint-Germain striker their top target and they'll look to use a Brazilian forward as a makeway in a record-breaking swoop for a World Cup winner. Um, and it makes sense because Mbappe, if he was to make a transfer, he'd cost well over 200 million and it would very much surpass the fee paid for Neymar. But last summer, Vinicius was linked to a move to Paris and it didn't really go ahead whatsoever because Real Madrid they had no intention of selling him or even including him in any kind of deal for Mbappe. That might have changed, however, now because of Rodrigo coming through at Real Madrid as well. Um, but I don't know, if it goes ahead and Vinicius goes to PSG and Mbappe to Real Madrid, it would be absolutely huge. El Desmarque are saying Manchester City officials have met with the representatives of Barca forward Ousmane Dembele. The France international has been linked to a move away from the company for some time now, with Paris Saint-Germain and Chelsea also said to be keen on securing his services. And for Man City, obviously right now they might not need Dembele for starting 11, but if Leroy Sané ends up joining Bayern Munich, they might go for Dembele to replace him. Marco Arsene and Atletico Madrid have a 25 million euro agreement in place and that's for Brazilian midfielder Bruno Gomares. Uh, sorry if I say his name wrong and sorry if I say his next club name wrong as well. Atletico Paraniense, that's who he plays for. But yeah, he is 22 years old and he's said to have rejected a new contract offer by the Brazilian side, paving the way for a January move to be made. 
But that guys is going to be it for this video. So if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. My previous video will be down below in the description box, and current schedule every day at 8am UK time will be a new transfer upload. So thank you for watching this video, I'll see you next time.